Welcome back to Advanced Accounting 2. This is our last chapter in the series where we will be focusing on not for profit and public sector organizations and the accounting for them. Topic one, we'll be looking at definition and standards. Public not for profits or NFPs include organizations that are government controlled. One example would be in Canada, hospitals. Private NFPs are NFPs that are not controlled by government. Rather, they are made up of private members of the community. One example would be the Boys and Girls Clubs of Canada. Public NFPs have the choice of following the CPA Canada Public Sector Accounting Handbook with or without a series of additional guidance standards referred to as the 4200 series. Private NFPs have the choice of following either IFRS or Part 3 of the CPA Handbook, that is, Accounting Standards for NFP Organizations. If a not-for-profit, an NFP, selects to follow Part 3 of the Handbook, it is also opting into following Part 2, that is, ASPE, to the extent that Part 3 does not provide specific guidance. That is to say, if Part 3 does not address the specific accounting issue in question, the organization defaults to using ASPE accounting rules. Our focus on this course will be understanding both the theory and application for not-for-profit entities. Since we have spent several years investing in understanding the International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS, the remainder of these videos will focus on the theory and application of Part 3 of the CPA Handbook. Time for a question. Which of the following is true? Is it A, private NFPs have the choice of applying either IFRS, ASPE, or Part 2 of the CPA Handbook? B, public sector NFPs are not required to conform to any specific set of accounting standards? C, private NFPs have the choice of applying either IFRS or Part 3 of the CPA Handbook? D, if guidance on accounting issue is lacking for either public or private NFP, they will look to US GAAP for guidance. <laughs> what do you think? The correct answer is C. As previously discussed, private NFPs have the choice of applying either IFRS or Part 3 of the handbook. Where Part 3 does not provide guidance, ASPE will be consulted. I would mind map this. I would look at the links between the two, uh, have the definition, see where the links are for, you know, what the either or is, what di um, differentiates our public from our private NFPs, and then the accounting standards for each. Just so you have a nice summary. So if it ever happens to come up later, you'll know exactly where to find it and what the connections are between the two. All right, great work. We're off to a fantastic start. I will see you in the next video.